Hey you guys, so on my last video, which was on my clear skin routine, I got quite a bit of comments and questions about my hair. So I wanted to come and bring you all the details on that, as well as my thoughts, just in case some of you were thinking of getting this for yourself. I wanted to let you know how I felt about it. Now, a couple people asked me if I had a sew-in installed, and I don't. I'm actually wearing a full lace wig. I know, right? Yes, it's a wig. And this wig is from RPG Show. As far as the specs on this unit, the model number is CLS024S. The hair length is 20 inches. It is constructed on a glueless lace cap. The lace color is light brown and the hair texture is yakky. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run down what I like about this wig and what I don't really like about it. So what drew me to it initially was the coloring. I absolutely love the color of this wig. As you can see, it starts off as black at the top and then it goes down to like a really deep reddish burgundy color. I think they did an amazing job on the coloring. There's no harsh lines. It just flows really smoothly from top to bottom. And I think this color is perfect for fall. It's not like super raging bright, but it's also not so subtle that you can't see it. It's right there in the middle, which I really like. So it's just enough where it gives you that extra kick and pizzazz, but you can still wear it to work and not get those crazy looks. As for the texture, like I mentioned, this is yakky hair. So when you touch it, you can feel a bit of coarseness in it, which I think makes it look and feel a lot more natural and believable. It's not that stringy, silky, baby doll type of hair, which I can't stand. To me, it sort of mimics relaxed African-American hair. It's also very easy to manage. Anytime I comb or brush it, it just glides right through. I haven't gotten any tangling or matting with this hair. And that's really good because you don't have to worry about carrying a comb around to comb out your hair periodically so you don't get that rat's nest forming in the back of your head like you can get sometimes with that low quality hair. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the absolute worst. This wig is very easy to apply. It literally took me less than five minutes to plop it on my head and adjust it to my liking and I was good to go. It is on a glueless lace cap so you don't have to use glue, tape, needle and thread, none of those type of tools to put it on. It does come with two adjustable straps in the back so you can definitely tighten it up if you need it to be a bit more snug on your head. Also, this hair has a lot of movement. Anytime I turn my head, it just glides right along with me. So it's not stiff at all and it's really healthy looking hair. But the one thing to me that's the most important about a lace wig is the part. The parting can definitely make or break your entire look. So if your part looks super fake or if you have a wig where you can barely see the part, to me that makes it look very wiggy and I don't know about you guys, but when I put a wig on, I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a wig. I want it to look like I have in a nice weave or something and I definitely feel like I've achieved that with this wig. I didn't have to do much work to it to make it look believable. All I did was put a bit of concealer right on the lace so it would match with my natural scalp color and that was pretty much it. I don't have any of my real hair out at all so this is a great protective style as well. If you wanna just put your hair away and not put stress on it or if you wanna hide it from the elements, this is perfect for that. Now what I don't like about this wig is how thin it is. When I initially got it and put it on, that was the first thing I noticed. It just looked very thin and sparse to me. It feels like I'm wearing about two bundles of hair when I'm used to wearing three to four. So I'm suffering from a mild case of hair anorexia. You can definitely just take some tracks and sew them in the back for extra volume, which is what I would probably do if I was planning on wearing this as an everyday style. But as we all know, lace wigs aren't the most inexpensive things in the world. And that's just an extra step I don't feel like I should have to take. I really wish that this was just more dense and came with more hair. I will say though, I do think the density on this works for this look, the bone straight look. I think it looks very natural and believable. But if I wanted to change it up and get some big, bouncy, bodacious curls in this unit, wouldn't work because I've tried it. I did curl it up and it just looked way too skimpy for me. So I just went back and straightened it back out. Also, when I curled it, I noticed that this hair doesn't hold a curl very well. Within about an hour after I curled it, the curls completely dropped and it was more like a slight wave. This is human hair, but it's not virgin hair, so that may be why, but I'm not really sure. Now, as far as how long a unit like this should last, I believe the standard is a year with proper care. So as long as you're not being unnecessarily rough with your wig or playing kickball with it or something extreme like that, you should get a solid year out of it. I can't give my personal experience with that because I don't wear lace wigs in my everyday real life. It's just not my preference, but I do like to wear them in my videos sometimes to change up my look and to show you guys some new styles. So I don't wear them enough to be able to say how long they've lasted me, but you should get at least a year out of it.
But overall, I really do like this unit. I love the look of it. I love the color. I love how it looks straightened. I think it looks amazing. But I just wish it had a lot more hair in it. This is my third wig I've tried from them. And each time I felt like the wig should have been a bit more thicker. So if I could give them a suggestion, I would say that they should make their wigs a bit more dense. I'm sure that their customers would appreciate that. I know I would. So yeah, I think I covered everything. You guys let me know if you have any more questions. I will put the link to this wig as well as the specs in the info box. So thanks for watching as always and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.